Hi, welcome to today's um, solo playing tip. And I call this on uh, pay the price. And so what, where this kind of idea came from was I was playing a um, pre-written adventure and it became obvious as I was going through it that some of the encounters had been set up to favor, say, um, rangers with bows um, because there were barriers that made it difficult for, say, the melee characters to get to the enemy, whereas ranged um, uh, characters could obviously avoid having to go over the barriers, they could still shoot. Then the next encounter, it had kind of like a wild magic, anti-magic effect going on, which really hamstrung the spellcasters. And then the next encounter, you know, the uh, all the enemy kind of really flooded in on on the the party, uh, you know, instantly. It was kind of like a straight ambush. So the melee characters were straight in there, no having to get to the enemy. And so it went on. Every encounter was kind of there to say, right, this one will make the rogue shine. This one will be, you know, the magic users will do well here. The melee fighters will do well here. They tried to give everyone a moment in the spotlight, which is great when you've got a party. When you're one character, and if you are that magic user and the encounter is set up to negate your abilities, you are left with nothing. It's almost like a death sentence. So what I was thinking was, if the game has like stunned or paralyzed or incapacitated as kind of critical effects um, from attacks, what you can do is not kind of just wipe them away. You know, um, well, there's, there's several options. One is you can accept the defeat and say, right, the characters, the, the, Villains don't kill me immediately. They capture me and move yourself to some kind of prison cell in the um, or cage in in the dungeon um, still. Or maybe you get left for dead and the fight carries on elsewhere. Or, and this is where the tip comes in, what you can do is say you know, your character takes off the stun effect, but they you know, take so many hit points damage in doing it. You know, it's kind of it's a mental strain or a physical strain in doing it, and it causes them damage. Or, you know, they, the mental strength taken to burn off an, a paralysis effect costs them a spell slot, you know, their highest level spell slot. So what you're doing is you're allowing yourself to carry on as the um, center of the story, but you're imposing a cost on yourself because there should be some kind of balancing effect. If you're just going to negate the villain's bad the, um, both benefits, special abilities, then you should pay for it somehow. So that's kind of the little game balancing um, tip, which enables your character to carry on you know, in the fight or in the adventure. Okay, thank you for watching.